You do voodoo? Who do voodoo? Well, as I kind of anticipated, this episode was easily my least favorite of the season so far. It still had its moments. There were some jokes and bits that actually worked really well. <laughs> do it again! But I think it ended up being way too topical with the way it handled its version of the pandemic to the point where it already feels a bit dated. Although honestly, the worst parts of the episode had nothing to do with the COVID parody elements. So let's get into it. Hello, Internet. My name is Ren, and I want to talk about this week's episode of Futurama Season 11, Rage Against the Vaccine. Great title. Arguably a better title than the episode deserves. This video will contain spoilers for Rage Against the Vaccine, as well as Futurama generally. The episode starts with a celebration of triumph over COVID-19, and man, it really does feel like we'll be stuck with COVID for the next thousand years. So there's that. I'll be honest, I was not expecting much from this episode, and it delivered about what I expected. A new mutant virus originating in the sewers is spreading and making people sick and angry. A new virus dubbed Explovid-23 has broken out among the mutants who dwell beneath New New York. Symptoms include blinding uncontrollable anger! as well as a mild cough. Leela returns from a visit to her parents, who we hear audibly coughing and fighting. Love ya. Feh. Always with the love. We already hugged you. Now we gotta talk about it? <laughs> and the city puts a sewer travel ban in place. The crew is charged with delivering Bill Nye's head to the Back to Normal Fest to celebrate the end of the pandemic. I did really enjoy Bill Nye's cameo. I declare the pandemic to be officially over. <laughs> Declaring the pandemic over while everyone is still hacking away is pretty funny and accurate to real life. Professor Farnsworth brings the crew some tests. Here goes nothing. <laughs> and this joke also got me. Leela tests positive, so they quarantine her in the Angry Dome. Nixon issues an executive aru. While we don't yet know how the virus spreads, we do know it's anger based. I'm therefore issuing an executive RU that everyone wear a mask over their ears to prevent the transmission of upsetting remarks. We also get a remote work joke or several with gloom and a filter that turns the professor into a lovey bear. Professor, you're a teddy bear. I assure you I am not. I think there's a lot more they could have done with this premise if they wanted to make jokes about remote work that don't feel dated and identical to every other pandemic era show that addressed it. It just doesn't feel like Futurama's treading any new ground here, especially when those shows already feel dated. I just think the writers could have tried a bit harder to make the story feel more uniquely like Futurama. Oh, this is a dismal failure. Everyone report to the office in person. Oh, that is a violation of health and safety standards. Everything we do is a violation of health and safety standards. Just wear a mask. The crew reports to the office. Everyone wears a mask and almost no one does so correctly. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that joke also had me cackling because again, it's just so accurate. Although you'd think they'd have better masking options in a thousand years, including something fry proof. Hermes is convinced it's actually a zombie virus. Look at the facts. Irrational rage, spread through saliva and spit, constant angry moaning, it's all the classic symptoms of zombieism. He decides to go on a quest to get a voodoo cure from New New Orleans. Pack your bags, we are going to New New Orleans. <gasps> For Mardi Gras? No, I believe there are people there who could defeat this virus with voodoo. <gasps> he tries to convince La Barbara to come along, but she cautions him against it and refuses to be involved, so he's on his own. You are messing with powers you don't understand, husband. But I do. Didn't come with me, woman. We don't want any more to do with that world. Farnsworth and Wernstrom both develop a vaccine. Thanks to cutting-edge RNA technology, my vaccine is as potent as it is untested. Ha! My essentially identical vaccine is far superior! They hold a press conference and Dr. Banjo, the creationist orangutan from a clockwork origin, is opposed to the vaccine. Professor Farnsworth. How do you respond to rumors I'm starting that there are 5G chips in your vaccine? The misinformation from Dr. Banjo and from others makes people refuse to take the vaccines. These vaccine fascists are taking away our freedom. I might as well be in a cage at the zoo, like my aunt! This confounded mask is destroying my lungs. And it turns out the Omicronians are posting the misinformation to weaken Earth for an invasion. What else should I post, Dad? Who cares? The crazier the better. Tell them worm medicine helps. <laughs> Those poor, easily manipulated fools. Fry brings food to Leela in the Angry Dome, and she's still symptomatic. Fry enters the Angry Dome because he doesn't want to be away from Leela anymore. <coughs> Cute. 
A fight breaks out on the train on the way to New Orleans as the rage virus spreads. Hermes train crashes because the driver has succumbed to the angry virus. Hermes crawls out of the wreckage, but the smell of gumbo gives him the fortitude to walk it off. Uh, I can't move my legs. Ooh, I smell gumbo. <laughs> <laughs> Hermes consults with the fortune teller from The Honking. Hello, madam. Is this the Voodoo HQ? Shh! You do voodoo? Who do voodoo at the HQ? They use some tarot cards to help him find the voodoo headquarters. Then let us consult the tarot. The key of bones. The hanging man. Which path do you choose? What's in that pot under the hanging guy? Boiling gumbo. I'll start with the gumbo. And Hermes gets some gumbo on the way. Mm, kind of mild. Guess I'll try this one instead. Hermes goes to a graveyard in search of a skeleton key to the HQ and finds it almost immediately. Huh. I never seen no bone key. Have you checked that prominently displayed skull? Well, that was easy. I do love the design of the mausoleums and the other New Orleans-specific aesthetic design choices to the backgrounds, etc. The Bone Bot is also glorious. Such a cool design. What a great character. I wish we got to spend a little more time with him. He takes Hermes on a ride through the swamp. We get a glimpse of Umbriel and her father from the Deep South. Y'all see a dugong from Macon? Run him down! He absconded with my daughter's dowry. Hermes arrives at Voodoo HQ, where he encounters Barbados Slim. Hermes and Barbados discuss the virus and the potential of voodoo as a cure. The virus. I believe voodoo might be the only thing that can fight it. Well, that much is obvious. My theory is the virus is a type of zombieism. Sweet potatoes of Barbados. La Barbara shows up. Afraid she might be too sexually attracted to you to think straight? <laughs> well, you're mostly right. La Barbara? and reveals she was deeply involved with voodoo and taught Barbados everything he knows. We also find out that she and Barbados have keys to each other's houses. And why do you have a key to Barbados' place? Yeah, that's not important. I've also got a key to your place. Also not important. Cool. Great. Totally normal and okay. They lead Hermes deeper into the building to a high-tech lab. The Omicronians invade Earth. There's a great bit with Zap and Kif fighting each other instead of the invaders. Die, you disgusting freak! <coughs> I just hope I kill you before those invaders do. Lur catches the plague. <laughs> That's odd. I've never sneezed before. <laughs> and everyone's fighting everyone as the Omicron variant spreads. It's just as I feared. The virus has mutated with Omicronian undoon DNA. I do love that joke with the Omicron variant. It was right there. 10 out of 10. Barbados and La Barbara test the voodoo shots on Hermes. Now, we're gonna need an animal sacrifice. I, I mean, um, test subject. Oh, my calculator arm! And then make out to see if they're working. Let's run a test. I just feel a normal, easy to repress rage. Then perhaps we should test it a bit more thoroughly. And then they distribute the shots to everyone else, and we close out the episode with Farnsworth apologizing for his voodoo skepticism and this line from Hermes. Any sufficiently advanced magic is indistinguishable from science. Oh, yeah. Like I said, it had its moments. Some of the COVID jokes totally got a laugh out of me, although I don't think it was enough to elevate the episode. The stuff with New New Orleans was really fun, and I liked how they distinguished its vibe from New New York. The force field levees were a really cool futuristic tech idea, too. I liked some of La Barbara's involvement in the episode. Now, the key is to produce a voodoo potion that tricks the body into thinking it has the virus, but without actually getting the disease. But the stuff with her in Barbados is just so tired. And I'm afraid. Afraid she might be too sexually attracted to you to think straight? <laughs> well, you're mostly right. And it feels so much more explicit than previous stories that involved him. Other than Bender's big score, it's generally been treated as history that Hermes was irrationally jealous about, rather than a super blatant affair that they're not even trying to hide. Oh, there, there, Hermes, you did your best. If I'd wanted a human Adonis for a husband, I'd have stayed married to Barbados Slim. I don't know. It just felt a bit uncharacteristically mean-spirited when we've seen so many episodes showing that La Barbara genuinely cares about Hermes and their family. I married you for your sexy potato body, but I'm staying with you for your sexy potato head. Even the stuff between them and Bender's big score was a bit much. Body will be repaired within one week. Nah, -uh, not soon enough. Boy needs a daddy. 
cruel runnings, ma- But it felt so much more over the top and unnecessary here. And why do you have a key to Barbados' place? Yeah, that's not important. I've also got a key to your place. And I think the time spent on it could have been better utilized on other more interesting elements of the episode, like New New Orleans, or showing more of the effects of Explovid, etc. Overall, the pandemic storyline just felt a little bit underdeveloped, and the more interesting subplot with Hermes seeking a voodoo cure was somewhat soured by the La Barbara cheating jokes. There were some great moments like this one with Bender, though. Kill all humans! Kill all humans! Can robots even get the virus? What virus? And lots of other little jokes that worked well. <laughs> Do it again! Yeah. So it's not like the episode was all bad. I just think it's the weakest in terms of the combination of jokes, story, and futuristic elements this season so far. It especially felt like a letdown after last week's episode was so great. I think the Zap being cancelled episode next week could go either way. I hope it turns out better than Rage Against the Vaccine because this one was rough. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you thought about the episode in the comments section down below. What was your favorite episode so far this season? One other thing I want to add real quick is that COVID numbers are on their way back up, including deaths and hospitalizations. So please protect yourself and those around you by wearing a mask in public spaces. COVID is still a leading cause of death in the United States, and long COVID is only getting more and more common as people get reinfected. I am still working on the next part in the Star Trek Was Always Political series. The writing is mostly done. I'm hoping to have it filmed and edited by sometime next week, but we'll see. But that's all I've got for now. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. See you next time. Bon voyage!